Scars 2 0 is at the top of the screen. Um, no map order was picked, so we're basically just going in order and skipping the crap maps. What was that? <clears throat> Spoils allowed. Yes, it is indeedy. <laughs> that Kansano this early. Best of 11 guys, still a long, long way to go. Doesn't matter if EOD's 2-0 up. <clears throat> it's thought plenty of more matches to see. I think he's got with six, right? He's got six zero rock for a fast series. So we get at least six games. Generation is gonna be opening up Jackrabbit. I mean, EOD just gave away his pick, right? <laughs> In the lobby, spoils allowed. I mean, you don't care, it's like, yeah, come, come and stop my Vorodus if you can. Spoils is allowed, Rock took that information and decided to pick Kinsana. <clears throat> oh, Jack Rabbit gets caught, Ram goes in. Oh, he's deciding to fight. He's deciding to lose the Jack Rabbit. Morbster cheered X100. Thank you very much, Mar Thank you very much, Morbster. Again, for the bits. Jack Rabbit goes down. <laughs> Chopper is going to get away, and he picks up that double mini as well. Rock is in for a hard time. Chopper sees him as the Marine goes back in for the power. He's just going to do a little sneaky shoot onto the Sentinels. <coughs> Barracks on the men. Chopper's wiggling, he's gonna lose the chopper! Oh, just in time, looks like we got the proc on Heat of Battle. Look, he's gonna be taking the mini base here and probably doubling back for the power. Generator upgrade what's gonna be happening. We got a raid camp coming up versus Barracks. Hellbringer's coming out. Help deal with these jump up brutes. Cause they're coming. <coughs> Sniping out. Yeah, the best thing for Rock is to get onto this mini base as quickly as possible before the mass come. You don't want to be fighting a Vorodus out your main base, you want to be catching him out on the map. <coughs> Oh, uh, that's a good point. Yeah, D1. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Our base is under we skip this game because we're already three minutes in, so... There goes the grand drop. <clears throat> Immediately sucks up all the goop. Remember, I haven't done this for about 18 months, so... Uh... The, the predictions and shit are just slow. That was a beautiful sniper attack. on the high ground. I think that's red line. In fact, I know that's red line. No thinking. I was trying to determine if it was two or one, but this early in the game, it is most definitely one. I'm trying to siphon a bit of resources over here. Still a big battle at this mini base. <clears throat> Sniper in the garrison. Marines come across from the middle as he picks up a power nerd. 
A lot of units on that. He doesn't want to get caught off a nurse trap, so he did pull a couple of units back. Sniper doing a great job in that guy, so not actually taking a lot of damage at all. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Did he build another one? Another sniper is on the way. This is going to be the hard part. Rock now has to fight in two different places. We've got a raid camp on the other double mini. But for the time being, EOD hasn't managed to make any use of combat spoils. <clears throat> Yet, anyway. Rock really working on these power nerds. One is going to get stolen away from him. The enemy has captured our power node. Sniper reporting. I'm taking fire from ground troops. Leader point earned. Some more marine snipers coming out. Obviously, Kinsana does have those drops as well. Just got another leader point in now, but we got units marching to the mini base next to Rock's main as he still fights in the middle of the map. <clears throat> Our base is under attack. About to pick up three power nerds. And he's harassing both of Rock's minis now. Won't have much of an income if he loses both of those. And he can't really get onto these mini bases to do a lot of damage to them anywhere. Just has to keep fighting the army. He, he is ahead on population. Sniper into the garrison. Mini base does go down. Still working on these power nerds. A chopper in the mix. <coughs> Sitting in the goo, the marine does die before it can cap that nerd. Trouble. It's not looking ideal for rock. Turret constructed. But I mean if you look at the leaders is you so far, Kinsano, Jerome, Pavium, they ain't exactly top tier, so you kinda would expect losses against what is faced. The enemy has captured our power node. Oh, uh, the other mini base probably is going to go down. We do have a couple more units feeding in. Most of his army is on the double over here. Upgrading to tech two now. I don't think Rock will be anywhere near. He's just about to get a second generator. generator there will be enough snipers here to defend this. So he is going to have that one extra pad. <clears throat> he has lost most of the nerds while this has been going on as well. There's the flame warthog drop. Boundary coming up. Another expansion, uh, an expansion for EOD as well. <clears throat> We've lost a power node to the enemy. Boundary constructed. The one mini finally falls. Eight minutes into the game. Rock can finally get another couple of passes, but this one's going to fall as well. And EOD almost has enough to go take three behind this. Probably not going to. He's probably going to get some upgrades. Upgrade his base. Warhogs are going to see the expansion.
But the big drop could turn the tide in this game. Drop turret going down. We got the Marauder NG drop as well. One of those Warthogs is going to fall. Our base is under attack. He's actually going to save this. Airpad coming up for rock. Our power node. No, he's focusing the supply pad. Probably might have started focusing the main with the turret, but probably just trying to boost his leader points, get that firestorm group as quickly as possible. <clears throat> Nowhere near has the money for it though, but almost has the point. Uh, I'd love to say start saving up for it now, but he doesn't exactly have a lot of pads out on the map. Supply pad constructed. Lost almost every mini base. Does get this back after losing it. The enemy sent vehicles after us. Over. We've lost a power node to the enemy. Supply pad upgrade complete. Expansion is now upgraded for EOD. So it's going to be Feistown Group versus Cataclysm. Can't see him going in um, Inferno in this scenario. He won't get a lot of damage done to the main, and with combat spoils, he could just push, counter push his main and get a lot of money back. Needs the army to fight. That shield is coming up though. Five seconds away. That's going to be just in time. Rock does have the move for it, but the Warhog does get taken out. Not going to be able to drop that on the main either. Makes things a little bit harder with the shield up. Two K power in the bank has not opted for an expansion. Mini base complete. Over. Sound off. I'm under fire from enemy vehicles. Leader power ready. Try to drop back and ready for rock now. Smoking his army, healing it up. Wants to save this double mini as much as possible. Starting to do a little bit more harass now while EOD is playing more defensive. A couple of Marauders getting taken out. Rocky's max pop. Upgrade complete. And he is now tech free as well. See what he does with tech free. We've still got Marines coming out. Supply pack and shock rounds for the Cyclops. Do we even see a lot of Marauders right now? We got a couple of Marauders, which indicates he might be building more. Needs that extra mobility. She gets Kansara. And we may have a push up the to the main. A lot of red units are congregating to the side. Our base is under attack. <laughs> well, if this doesn't give it away, I don't know what Shot does. EOD denying an expansion. Here's the push. Kind of a bit separated right now. Needs to group his army a little. He's going to pick up this expansion. That has already been scouted by EOD. Shockrams going to be slowing the units while providing some damage to these vehicles as well. Drop turret going down. Funneling more and more units in. EOD is now all unit in back by the looks of things. A lot of units coming back to defend this. He has realized the danger. Knows he has to come and salt rock out like he did in the previous games. Nothing is getting dropped yet. The shield is almost down though. There goes the smoke. 
Heroes here, so he might try a Cataclysm, if he can catch the army. That expansion is now built, EOD pushing him back. Oh, there goes the Hog Drop. Invigorated Frenzy goes down. He did use the Y ability with his hero, so he won't have that up for the Cataclysm. That heal is very strong though, very nasty. Speed boost, damage boost, and health all in one. Rock has tumbled down to 44 population, 40 population versus 80, so half of what EOD has. Our base is under attack. So much money in the bank. We might actually see a scarab. Uh, it's not tech free though. Pack assault back up. Really holding on to this drop. See no fan or no drop whatsoever. He wants to try and get that juicy stun. It's the only way he can claw back some population in these fights. It is, it is now grouped up. We don't have a lot of units here. Turret's coming up on the expansion. Supply pad upgrade complete. EOD now getting reinforcements as well, so this army is just getting thicker and thicker. There's the big drop. Comes down on top. Let's we'll see how much it can potentially do in this fight, though. The tank's almost gone already. The Inferno goes down on top of the army, but he's got no stuns to keep them in place. Population dropping. We've <laughs> got a couple of banshees coming out. Uh, I do damage to the base. Uh, he just didn't lose enough from those two leader powers. Those were Rock's two best leader powers. He dropped about 10 population. I mean, a lot of them are red bar, but Frenzy's back up now. He can pop that with the leader, probably heal most of this up. Base is weak, and he's actually going to teleport away and allow this expansion to live. Nifty got a third base upgrading. Did manage to take this mini base as well. coming up on this expansion as well. It's just going to stop the harass from Rock, but I don't think Rock's really focusing on uh, playing that style of Kinsana. He's, he's trying to take head on battles here. His hero's actually going to get caught out. Marauder's going to slow her down. She's not upgraded. She's dead. It's unfortunate. Another bit of miss my girl from Rock there. He's max pop out of 80, but EOD can get up to 100. Oh, uh, there's the Invigorating Frenzy, but he's running out of it. Like, you, you actually kind of want to be in that. All sorts of benefits by being inside the goo. That's a nice pick by Rock, just uh, picking up the stragglers at the back. Evened up the population for the time being. Anti-vehicle turret putting in work as well. Now Rock is drawing him away from the base. While this is going on, he picked up a mini base back at home I'm also. I'm not built for combat. You can sign a Cyclops. Another anti-vehicle turret, right decision. Uh, he Supply really hasn't made that Banshee switch that he was intending on. Leader power ready. Our base is under attack. Really deciding not to push this expansion anymore. 
Might be going for main instead. I need assist against these AD wants the faster base trade because he has more bases base and he gets miss. money for attacking pads. I'm under fire from the enemy. I need backup. Leader power ready. I'm not going to be going to the expansion. Warhog drop comes down. AD hasn't made, quite made it to the base yet. Turret upgraded. Hi, Gilroy. Let me know where I'm needed. Turret upgraded. Air pad constructed. Supply pad constructed. <clears throat> the enemy has captured our power. The goo's getting spreaded. No goo back at home there. The See, like, with the goo, the invigorating frenzy, and the cataclysm, he could defend and attack at the same time, but he's got no goo on defense. He is going to cat out of the main, though. I, I, I think he could have done that more efficiently. Oh, we got a bit of NGQ over here to heal the base, but he could have melted most of these marines at least with a bit of goo cataclysm. Uh, main base for rock. Getting stripped completely. EOD also took the mini bases um, while this is going on also. And what rock takes this down, he loses his main. His four bases down to one. EOD picks up a fifth because of all the fucking money he has. Look at this shit. Combat skull spoils allowed, by the way. Expansion goes down. First time I've seen EOD actually recycle his pads. And the man for rock falls also. Onto the man for rock now. <clears throat> the economy difference is just attack. massive. <clears throat> All the minis gone, main base gone. Now EOD can just focus on this one base and then it's game over. Supply pack fire. Rock's gonna have to start bringing out the big guns before he gets too far behind. The enemy has captured our power. It's gonna put EOD free zero up. Halfway to winning the series. Leader point earned. Generator upgrade complete. Supply pad upgrade complete. Is that a hell charge? I think that was a hell charge. Big drop comes in. The Hornets fall. Yeah, he just has to focus this base down, and it's game. Rock lost a lot of units in that fight. Even if he kills this base, it doesn't really matter. We got five power nodes, we got five bases, we have every mini base. The map is so blue, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Even if it was a DC in that sort of situation, Rock would have lost anyway. <clears throat> Free zero. We go on to Frontier. And we switch again. 
will be this time. Banished for rock. UNSC for EOD. There's a side matchup. It's currently 2 1 to banish. Alright, let's do a vote for this game. You win. Sign it early so you can get your votes in, get your cash in, get some of that sweet, sweet, sweet gold. Vert is for Frontier. How's this vote going? People voting EOD. I know it's 3 0 up, but his reign of terror has to come to an end at some point. <clears throat> In all my years of casting, I don't think I've ever seen EOD completely destroy Rock, where Rock hasn't won a single game. <clears throat> Happened plenty of times between Rock and Almirante, though. Those two would just trade games like crazy for years and years and years. Uh, yes, Kimber, they are rotating, banished, UNSC, part of the match rules. Every game has to be a UNSC versus banished matchup. Uh, EOD won the coin toss, so he got to choose game one. Um, he chose banished as Decimus had beat Rox Jerome and has continued winning ever since. Ooh, we're now going to see Jerome versus Atro. Your trucks, the king of frontier. GG, told you, my trucks, king of frontier. Next game, please. <clears throat> All right, we're off to a good start. EOD is moving his units. Jackrabbit, start for him. 
chopper start for rock generation. Jackrabbit's going to make sure that he doesn't lose out uh, on a lot of mini bases if rock decides to get very aggressive with the mini steals. Dude, the vote was 7k for EOD and barely anything for Rock before the leaders. And then as soon as Aatrox vs Jerome was picked, it went 15k to 7k. Nobody rebet on EOD. Who is going Gen Third? Chopper in the mix, gonna be fighting two Marines there. Gonna get forced away, but the beauty of Banished on Frontier is these healing spires. That Ellie Chopper. No matter how weak it gets, as long as you don't lose it, you get back to the Healing Spire. It gets so much value on this map. Nice little partnership going on, sharing the power. But Rock is going to have the right-hand side to himself. Already mini base for EOD. There's the armory. We're going to be seeing Jaharon. Our base is under attack. Marine is weak. Armory constructed. War Council constructed. Rocks in the middle. Air trucks five seconds out. We got a mini steal from EOD. EOD, the UNSC, actually going to be picking up three mini bases. Where Rock is sticking to the one with the raid camp. And the chosen coming out. Going to be seeing a very aggressive play from him. Could be an overbuy. Supply pad constructed. Chosen out. Twenty seconds ahead. Of the Jerome Hellbringers. Gonna be the option. No snipers for some reason. Probably can't afford it at this point. Didn't really gain a lot of power. Base is getting lost. There is gonna be a sniper there. Mines go down there. Chosen's going straight to the main. Rock, don't give a crap about your mini. Those jump pack brutes, rally point, everything to the main. Bit of a sticky spot because look how many mini bases EOD bought. Even just a, a turret instead of one of those mini bases would have helped here. He's put himself in a very difficult position. Because he can't get his hero out. If he can't get his hero out, these choppers can go straight onto those snipers. As soon as he comes out anyway, he's going to get stunned. You know what's coming against air trucks? Like the overbuy on these minis is insane. He's mitted it down now. There's the snipers. Jerome's out. Jump out, brutes. Jerome just gets shredded. Look at that. All the stuns. There's just no way he gets out. Lots of mines go down. He didn't. I don't. All right. He got one volley off. Sniper's now getting focused. Walks into the mines. This is rough. This sniper there. Oh, this sniper's in a good spot. Oh, he hits the grunt instead. He should kill him, right? He's wiggling. He's wiggling. He's wiggling. He misses the shot. And he's dead. <laughs> Drew up immediately getting rebuilt. But EOD has lost his army. Mines going in, but he drops it on the plasma. The plasma's just gonna melt your mines. There's one mine left. Main base now getting taken down. There's a lot of jump pad roots here. This game looks over. Five minutes. Just like that.
Rebuilding his chosen as well. EOD is going to resign. And Rock pulls one back. Actually picking uh, a good pick this time.